Hey everyone, welcome to part 3 of 3 of my food painting tutorials. If you have missed the other two videos, I will link them towards the end of this video. In this video I will be showing you how to paint a pineapple. I will also be doing a giveaway on my paintings and on a startup painting kit including brushes, a mixing palette, acrylic paint and canvases. So if you guys want to win them, then don't forget to follow the rules that are on the bottom of this video. And now let's begin. For this painting I used brown, yellow and a sandy beachy yellow and white. And I used some thick brushes and a thin brush for the details. Start out with drawing on a curve on the canvas. For this step I used a plate that I placed at the bottom right corner of the canvas. This is going to be our guideline. Then go ahead and start drawing small spiky waves below this curve to create the pineapple skin. After that, mix some yellow and white acrylic paint to get the light sandy yellow color and fill in the inside of the pineapple with this color. But leave out the space below the waves you just created. After that, take some white acrylic paint and add it onto the center of the painting and start swirling the color towards the edge. This way we get more dimension in the painting later on. Now with some brown acrylic paint, go ahead and paint on the outside of the pineapple with a thin brush. If you have that, take some white acrylic paint and mix it together with the sandy colored paint to create a slightly darker shade of yellow. And then paint a thick line above the yellow background until it almost reaches the dark brown line. If you have that, blend the darker yellow with the lighter yellow paint together to create a nice transition between them. Now we need a light brown color to fill in the leftover white space above the yellow part. For this step I mix the sandy yellow paint with some light brown color. When you filled in the empty space, make sure to blend the light brown color with the yellow paint together as well. Then I went ahead and added a bit more brown to the outside to make it darker. Then I started to add some details by painting on small drops underneath the skin. After that I just added small dots along the brown line to create more details. Now we can go ahead and work on the inside of the pineapple. With some bright yellow paint, paint a circle at the center of the pineapple. And with the same color start painting small lines starting from the center. It should kind of look like a sun. Then add a little bit of brown to the color mixture and add more lines to the painting by starting at the outer area and painting the lines towards the center. Then I went ahead and added more yellow strokes and blended out the outside of the pineapple as well. After that add some white strokes the same way you did with the other yellow strokes to make the pineapple look more shiny. Since I wanted to make the outline of the pineapple darker, I finished off the painting by adding another dark brown line over the outline and let everything dry. When everything is dry, you can go ahead and erase the guideline from the beginning and seal the painting with a coat of liquid glue. This way the painting is going to be more shiny and fresh looking. Distribute the glue as if you would paint the strokes for the pineapple. This way we add even more dimension to the painting. And that's it! I hope you liked this pineapple tutorial. Don't forget this painting is part of a set of 3 paintings. So if you would like to paint the other 2 paintings as well, don't forget to check out the other tutorials that are linked below and at the end of this video. I know it was a little bit trickier than the other 2 tutorials, but I hope you still enjoyed this painting tutorial and if you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up to support this channel and this video. I would really appreciate that. And don't forget I'm doing a giveaway on my paintings and on a painting starter kit. So if you want to enter, all the information is on the bottom of this video. And also if you are going to be making this, please tag me so I can find and like your recreations. I would really love to see them. Other than that, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to see more DIY and painting videos in the future. And let me know if you like this kind of series and want to see more. Thank you for watching everyone and I will see you next week.